For number problem number one, we have a, a a work integral. So we have this spherical tank with radius of three meters, which I've drawn here on the board. Um, so it's half filled uh, with some liquid that has a density of 600 kilograms per meter cubed, and we have a vertical spout that's one meter high at the top. So x is going to measure the depth. Um, below the center of the tank. So at this level where it is right here, x would be zero, and x is going to increase down to a maximum of three as we get to the bottom. So which of the following is the integral needed to calculate the work? Well, what we can do to eliminate some answers is right away, if we know x is going from zero to three, then the, our integral has to go from zero to three. And that eliminates three of the answers right off the bat. So we know we'd be only down to D and E at this point. But how are we going to do this? So keep in mind, uh, when we have an integral like this, what do we need to do? The work required, we need to find a force, and we need to find a distance. So <clears throat> the force is going to be mass times G, which is 9.8. But we don't have mass. Instead, we have density and volume. So our force is going to be our density times our volume times g. Because density times volume gives you mass. And therefore, our work is going to be density times volume times g <coughs> times your distance. Um, I'll call that y for now. So we need to find a, a relationship for these, and then we're going to take the integral of it. So remember that. Since you're going to be integrating over x, and x is this depth, our volume term is only going to need to uh, encompass the area of each uh, you know, like sliver of this volume, because then we're going to add up all the slivers as we go through x. So if you were looking at just the area of a slice of this liquid, it would look like a circle, at least the top part with the surface area. So our volume of the i slice of this liquid is going to be pi r squared times delta x, you can consider. And delta x is what's going to turn into the dx in the uh, integral. So we're essentially just integrating the area to get the volume, just like you have uh, with the other types of problems. So we just need an equation for this radius. Uh, and then the rest is all simple to plug in. So the radius is going from here to the edge. And you can see that when, for the first slice, this radius is going to be 3. But as you get down to the bottom, the radius gets smaller and smaller. So we need a function of this curve. How does this radius change as x goes uh, up? So you can think of this think of this on its side, since this is now our x-axis. How, what is the equation of this line right here? Well, that's the top half of a circle, <clears throat> which is square root of r squared minus x squared. And our radius, we know, is 3. So this is going to be 9 minus x squared. So you can see when x is 0, that would give us a radius of 3, exactly what we want. When x is 3 down at the bottom, we get a radius of 0, which is exactly what we want. So now we just need to plug in all these things. The last thing we need to figure out is what is this, what is this distance? How far is uh, each slice of liquid being pumped? Well, the first slice of liquid, when x is 0, gets pumped up 3 meters to the top of the sphere, and then one more to get out. So it's 4. But as we get further and further down, it's 4 plus our depth. So it's 4 plus x. So now we can integrate all of this uh, to figure this out. So what we need is, we know it's from 0 to 3. We know that g and our density are just constants. So we're going to have those 600 and 9.8. 9.8, you're going to have to memorize as your gravitational acceleration. 600 was the density given to us in the problem. <clears throat> so now we have our volume or our volume that we're going to integrate to get work, which is pi r squared, and we already found our r here. So r is square root of 9 minus x squared, but we have r squared, so that would just make it 9 minus x squared. 
And then we have this distance that we're pumping everything. So that's 4 plus x dx. So if we integrated that, we would get the true volume here, and therefore this equation would become the actual work. And as you can see on your uh, answer key, that would be answer choice D, uh, using all of those terms appropriately.